1967, Jocelyn Bell stood before the ancient walls of Cambridge University, feeling like an imposter. She wondered, what was she doing here, among all these brilliant minds? She was certain that she'd be found out and sent back to Northern Ireland in disgrace. So Jocelyn made a promise to herself. She would give everything she had to science, leave nothing on the field, and leave with her head held high. She started literally in a field, swinging a 20-pound sledgehammer, helping to build a huge radio stethoscope. Once she built it, she ran it. Every spare hour, hunched over reach-outs, readouts searching for the shimmer of distant galaxies. And then one day she sees something, a scribble of ink amid miles of paper that few scientists would bother to investigate. But Jocelyn isn't a scientist, she's an imposter. So she's working twice as hard. It's a pulse, regular like a heartbeat, a pulse produced by no star known to science. But before her own heart could beat too fast, there was work to be done. Prove that the signal's real. Analyze the source. Find others like it. And over and over again, convince her professors to take it, to take her seriously. Jocelyn Bell had made one of the discoveries of the century. She had discovered pulsars, among the most exotic objects in the universe. The embers of exploded supernovas with the mass of the sun squeezed to the size of San Francisco. Look up for a moment. They're out there, in the blackness, strobing out, a pulse, the persistent heartbeat of the cosmos. Journalists ascended and asked how many boyfriends she had and whether she described herself as a blonde or a brunette. It was her professors who got the science questions. And then, a few years later, it was her professors who got the Nobel Prize. But Tonight, we're making that right. Here at NASA Ames Center, we're awarding a special breakthrough prize in fundamental physics for the discovery of pulsars and a lifetime of scientific leadership. To a woman scientifically proven to be the real deal, Jocelyn Bell Burnell. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you for this very great honour. And thank you for doing me the honour of being here this evening. I plan to use the money that's been awarded to me to create research studentships in physics for people from underrepresented groups in physics. <laughs> Diversity is important in all our communities. And one of the most delightful things is that some people have subsequently been in touch saying, how could we also contribute and add to this fund? So, hey, breakthrough, we might have a breakthrough. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>